Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into a critical issue that's been shaking up the financial landscape in Iraq. Recent reports from Frank26 and his Iraq Boots on the Ground source Firefly reveal some significant changes that could transform the lives of Iraqi citizens. So let's break down what's happening and what it means for the future of Iraq. For years, Iran has been leveraging certain Iraqi banks to circumvent international sanctions and make a profit off the U.S. dollar. This illicit activity has not only destabilized Iraq's economy, but has also undermined the country's sovereignty. The situation reached a tipping point when the U.S. Treasury stepped in to put a stop to these corrupt practices. The intervention by the U.S. Treasury has sent shockwaves through the region, with Iran reportedly furious over the loss of their financial stronghold. By halting these illegal transactions, the U.S. has effectively cut off a major source of income for those involved in these corrupt activities. But why is this significant for the average Iraqi citizen? Let's explore the broader implications. Firstly, the cessation of these corrupt practices signifies a major shift in power dynamics within Iraq. The corrupt political figures who once wielded enormous influence through these illegal financial channels are now finding their power severely diminished. This change is not just about financial transactions, it's about reclaiming Iraq's economic integrity and ensuring that its resources benefit its own people, not external actors. This crackdown is part of a broader effort to implement a comprehensive monetary reform in Iraq. For years, the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, auctions have been a focal point of corruption, with funds meant for development being siphoned off. By targeting these auctions and the associated corrupt practices, the U.S. Treasury's actions are paving the way for a cleaner, more transparent financial system in Iraq. Monetary reform is not just a technical adjustment, it's a powerful tool for social change. With cleaner financial operations, the Iraqi government can now focus on initiatives that directly benefit its citizens. This includes increasing the purchasing power of the Iraqi dinar, which has long been a goal for economic reformers in the country. When we talk about purchasing power, we're referring to the ability of the Iraqi dinar to buy goods and services. Over the years, the value of the dinar has been eroded making it difficult for ordinary Iraqis to afford basic necessities. The reforms being implemented aim to strengthen the dinar, thereby improving the standard of living for millions of Iraqis. But let's not underestimate the challenges ahead. The corrupt figures losing their grip on power are not going to go quietly. There will be attempts to find new ways to exploit the system. However, the current momentum, supported by international oversight, is creating an environment where it's increasingly difficult for such corruption to thrive. In essence, what we are witnessing is a significant rebalancing of power in Iraq. The corrupt elite, who have long exploited the system for their gain, are being sidelined. Their loss is a gain for the ordinary Iraqi citizen. As power shifts back to the people through these monetary reforms, there is a renewed sense of hope and empowerment. The road to a fully reformed and stable economy is still long, and there will undoubtedly be hurdles. But the steps being taken now are crucial for laying a solid foundation for the future. The international community's support, particularly from the U.S. Treasury, is playing a pivotal role in ensuring these reforms take root and lead to tangible improvements in the lives of Iraqis. So to all our viewers, stay tuned as we continue to monitor and report on these developments. The fight against corruption in Iraq is far from over, but with each step, the country moves closer to a brighter, more prosperous future for its citizens. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on this and other important topics.